हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम 3.12 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 3 रिवर्सिबल एंड रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेसेस फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉक एंड मिकोंकी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज ऑक्सीजन मोलर मास इज 32 किलोग्राम पर किलो मोल is compressed reversibly and pyrotropically in a cylinder from 1.05 bar 15 degree centigrade to 4.2 bar in such a way that one third of the work input is rejected as heat to the cylinder walls calculate the final temperature of the oxygen assume oxygen to be a perfect gas and take cv is equal to 0.649 kJ per kg per kelvin so first of all the given data is molar mass is given which is 32 kg per kilo mole pressure at initial state before compression is p1 and it is 1.05 bar temperature t1 is 15 degree centigrade and it is 288 kelvin also pressure p2 is 4.2 bar and the heat rejected is one third of the work input so q is equal to minus w by 3 minus sign shows rejection and the value of cv is 0.649 kJ per kg per kg we are required to find the final temperature after compression at state 2 so this is the required term which we will find in this problem so first of all the value of r is calculated the value of r is calculated from the expression r is equal to r bar by m bar the value of r bar is 8.3143 kJ per kilo mole per kelvin and the value of molar mass is given which is 32 kg per kilo mole so when we simplify this we get 0.26 kJ per kg per kelvin which is the value of r similarly from non fluid equation which is q plus w is equal to u2 minus u1 and if we write this equation or expression in the form of specific internal energies so this capital u will be replaced by small u so it will become q plus w is equal to small u2 minus small u1 where small u represents specific internal energies so putting the value of q which is minus w by 3 in this expression so minus w by 3 plus w is equal to cv into t2 minus t1 this term is derived from joule's law the statement of joule's law is specific internal energy of a perfect gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature so the general expression for specific internal energy is small u is equal to cv into t and for state 1 before compression we can write it as small u1 and it is equal to cv into t1 similarly for state 2 this is u2 is equal to cv into t2 so when we take the difference of u2 minus u1 we get cv into t2 minus t1 so let's suppose this is expression b also for polytropic compression or reversible polytropic compression we have the expression derived in chapter number 3 which is w is equal to r into t2 minus t1 over n minus 1 so putting this expression and by that expression we get 2 by 3 into r t2 minus t1 over n minus 1 equal to cv t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 is same on both sides left hand side and 
right hand side so they will cancel each other and we will get n minus 1 is equal to 2 r by 3 cv the value of r is calculated also the value of cv is given so simplifying this and getting the value of n the value of n comes out 1.267 this is called polytropic index now using the expression for temperature this temperature ratio and pressure ratio are linked with each other and if we are interested to find t2 or the final temperature after compression for a polytropic process for that we can write that t2 is equal to t1 into p2 by p1 power n minus 1 over n here t1 is known p2 is known p1 is known n is calculated in this problem which is here 1.267 so putting these values in that expression which is t2 is equal to t1 into p2 by p1 power n minus 1 by n t1 is 288 kilo 1 p2 is 4.2 and p1 is 1.05 bar n is 1.267 so simplifying this we get the final temperature after reversible polytropic compression and it comes out 386 kilo 1 which is equivalent to 113 degree centigrade so this is all about the solution of problem 3.12